Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for everything sexual health, contraception and relationship advice by myself, Hannah, a sexual health nurse. So today we're going to talk about PrEP. This stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. So PrEP is taken orally by mouth and it's made using a combination of drugs that are used to treat HIV. They are called antiretrovirals. PrEP is taken by HIV negative patients and it will act at preventing them from getting HIV. PrEP is really effective. So finally in the NHS, PrEP is now free. If you don't live in the UK or you're still not able to get PrEP for free, there's a fantastic website called I Want PrEP Now. I will link in the description where you're able to source your own PrEP. So there are a few different ways of taking PrEP. The first one is daily dosing. That's where you would take one tablet every day. And this is for people that have regular sex or they like to be spontaneous with sex. The other way of taking PrEP is called event-based dosing. This is where you would take two tablets 24 to two hours before any sex. And then you would take one tablet every 24 hours after that until you've had two full days of no sex. For people that are having anal sex only or men who have sex with men, you can take two tablets two hours before sex and then start with your daily dosing and you will be pre uh, prevented against um, HIV two hours after your first two tablets. Then you would go on to take a daily tablet every single day. Women are obviously able to take PrEP as well if they are at risk of acquiring HIV, but they would need to do daily dosing. So they would need to take a tablet every day. They also need to build their tablets up for seven days. And on day eight, they will then be protected against HIV. Trans and non-binary patients that are having vaginal or front sex need to do daily dosing. And again, build that pill up for seven days. PrEP does not affect your hormone therapy, so it's completely safe to take alongside this. People that are Hep B positive also need to do daily dosing. On demand or event-based dosing where you take PrEP as and when you need it is only for people that are having anal sex only. If you're having any type of front sex or vaginal sex, you will need to do daily dosing. PrEP is a fantastic drug and most people don't experience any side effects, but some people do experience some nausea, headaches and the feeling of tiredness. If you do experience these symptoms, give it time, they tend to settle down. Very rarely PrEP can affect your kidneys. Therefore, if you have a kidney condition or any conditions that could affect your kidneys already, for example, high blood pressure, it's important that you are going to your doctor regularly and getting kidney tests. If you're on PrEP under a sexual health clinic, you will be getting yearly kidney tests. If you are over the age of 40, you will be getting a kidney test every six months. This is just so we can keep an eye on your kidneys to make sure that they're functioning completely normal and the PrEP is not having a negative effect on them. Now, it's important to know that PrEP is different to PEP. PEP stands for post-exposure prophylaxis and it would be taken after a sexual risk where you're at risk of acquiring HIV. PEP needs to be started within 72 hours of the sex. So it's really important to get in contact straight away with the sexual health clinic if you're within their opening hours. If you're outside of this, then A&E is the place to go and they will start you on it. It has the best effect of preventing you from contracting HIV the quicker it started, ideally within the first few hours to 24 hours, but up to 72 hours. So what happens if you take your PrEP wrong? The best thing to do is either contact A&E outside of hours or a sexual health clinic, and then we can explain to you what to do next. Most likely you will be given some PEP to prevent you from acquiring HIV. Who is PrEP best for? So it's great for people that are at risk of acquiring HIV, whether this is because they work in the sex industry, they are having high risk sex, a lot of anal sex, chem sex, you've got an HIV positive partner that's detectable. So if you think you're at risk and would be interested in starting PrEP, please do contact us and we can have a discussion with you. 
prep is not just for men who have sex with men it's also for women and women in heterosexual relationships non-binary trans patients please do not be afraid to ask us any more information and to come and see us thanks guys i think that's everything you need to know about prep i will leave a couple of links below for you to access which has a lot more vast information on prep and a few diagrams on how to do the daily and event-based dosing if you do not live in the uk and are not able to get hold of prep through an nhs or through um, your health service then please visit the website i want prep now and you'll be able to source it through there i'll leave the link in the description thanks so much guys please don't forget to like and subscribe take care bye bye